good evening one and all and uh, welcome to the video in this video i'm going to be talking about elastic search analyzers what analyzers are and how you can leverage the use of analyzers in elastic search so let's get started with the video tutorial series i have some nice talk i have i have some very good examples which will make things easy for you to understand so let us see what are the analyzers types of analyzer elastic search offers following types of analyzer standard analyzer simple analyzer white space analyzer stop analyzer keyword analyzer pattern analyzer language analyzer and fingerprint analyzer now the very first question anybody would ask me who don't know anything about an analyzer is basically what is basically an, an analyzer right so to answer that let me let me show you some of the documentation of elastic search and then we'll understand uh, these analyzer in detail by uh, by looking at the examples so i'm on the official website of elastic search elastic search it says elastic search ships with a wide range wide variety of built in analyzers which can be used in any index without further configuration so if you see standard analyzer the standard analyzer divides the text into terms of word boundaries as defined by unicode so let's read stop analyzer the stop analyzer analyzer is like a simple analyzer but supports removal of stop words words like the full stop i will explain you all of these in a with a very nice example but let, let me just show you what happened okay so for example i have a wonderful example here so which shows a different different analyzer for example uh, i wrote a sentence here hello my name is somil shah i am a full stack software developer dot 111 okay so when we by default if you don't specify anything it uses standard analyzer so what i mean by that that entire text is broken down into tokens of words hello my so you can see this array so whenever you say like hey find me the word hello in this so it's going to quickly grab the word hello and it's going to give it to you that's a standard analyzer then we have a simple analyzer so what happens in the simple analyzer is this if you see the number 1111 got rid of that right so the numbers got rid away so if you want to have some application where you want to get rid of the numbers or or something like that you can use simple analyzers so if you want to read more you can always come to the website the simple analyzer divides the text into terms whenever it encounters a character which is not a letter it's a lower case all terms make sense okay then comes to the white space so white space analyzer splits the string at a white space which makes sense right so the length of the array is still 12 here you can see so if you observe the word developer dot 111 since there was no white space this is how it came at um, at the index time it will be this word you see so it it's very very important to just understand how analyzer work because based on the type of analyzer you provide you're going to get relevant results for example the stop if you see the word dot the full stop was taken out the 111 was taken out you see all the stop words were taken out similarly keyword means this entire text would be treated as one keyword similarly we have a pattern analyzer and fingerprint so that 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 basically gives us a very nice idea of analyzer now the question might be okay how the hell do i use it i have very very nice documentation uh, or or i would say an example for you guys so let's uh, learn that so i'm going to create an index with uh, which has a field called as my text the type is text okay so basically just creating a field okay so i'm going to run this one actually before that uh, i need to delete the index because already i think i i do have the index so i'm going to get rid of the old indexes and i'm going to try to explain you oops now i'm going to start with this one so we created the index okay so we have an index you can verify that with this command so for example the name of the index was my test right everything is okay now we post one document into it hello my name is somil shah okay hmm ah uh, o oh, okay i am so it's it's basically a uh, it's basically a a sentence or whatever you want to call so i'm going to post that so we get an acknowledgement and when we search for all the documents we should see that sentence here now what happens here is at index time for example now here where here is where i need to explain you stuff so at index time elastic search convert this into an array hello my name is because by default it uses a standard analyzer remember that somil shah 
okay mm. i am so these are the words right now if i want to search the document uh, documents here i can actually prove it to you that the, like how it works so for example get my test i'm going to say search and if i just provide a very basic query uh let's do a match query and the field name would be of course you know that my text because we just have one field here uh let's search for the word the so let's see if we do have a match so it seems like we did not match anything let me do it again so let's try for the word hello so you see it did match right the hello was there but what if i try capital hmm it still match right perfect makes sense so for example if i try to see for the word hello like i want to look for hello hmm anything like that still shows up now let me say something like this xyz xyz hmm so this will basically search for the word hmm and xyz xyz so for example it should still match the document so makes sense right how elastic search works like it breaks down these sentence into tokens so you can do efficient searching so this will make even more sense i have more much more better example so let me show you so i'm going to delete now so now let's create an index with a custom analyzer okay for example uh my an let me take a better example before that so for example uh if we say if you want to uh let me see okay let's uh, look at this one this is a very good example which will clear your concepts so let's say i want to i just run the code right uh, for example if i try it, oh yeah because the index is not created right so i need to create an index first so let me do that okay perfect now i'm going to try that so check this out guys this is important okay when i use the um uh test index in which i did not specify an analyzer right so the length of the array i have commented here it's it's this is 11 so there are like 11 uh, elements so you can see the number 2 the number quick the brown so as i said at index time it it break basically breaks down into tokens right but if you do specify i just want to show you like if you do specify an analyzer for example let's say um you want to remove all the stop words like the full stop and all of that so when you specify an analyzer and then when you try to search for the word the it's not going to show up because at index time you skipped it you specified an analyzer right now little bit it's making sense i hope it's making a little bit sense um okay so uh let me show you um one thing so now let us learn basically um So, so 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 what i'm saying is we know that elastic search has all these fancy analyzers and stuff like that okay but how can we define our own custom analyzer or how can we actually use it so let me show you an example um, i have a very simple example that i'm trying to explain you uh let me get rid of that one so okay so we have a mapping properties this is a field name that is uh, my text right earlier we did that right now we had a type text so if you see on the first example we had a type called as text but now after that i'm also specifying the analyzer so i'm saying hey analyzer my analyzer so the analyzer that i define the analyzer now if you want to define the analyzer this is how you do it in the settings you would say analysis it's a json body now the analysis takes an argument called as analyzer which is again a json then it takes the name of the analyzer that you want to give so in that case my i just said my analyzer type as custom because we are may you know making our own analyzer right you can use a built in analyzer also like stop analyzer and stuff like that so let me just explain you okay so type as custom tokenizer as standard so what tokenization you want to use so we are just using a standard stuff now filter this is very important so here is your custom like filter so i'm saying whenever you put any documents on elastic search convert that all into a lower case so if for example if this was a sentence so this will be interpreted in elastic search as hello you see so that's the that's the uh, lower case analyzer the english stop words means that we are simply trying to uh, get rid of we are defining um, our own like a filter called as english stop because there's nothing called as english stop we need to define that so if you see below in the filter i defined english stop type as stop 
and then i said stop words so for example i said what are the stop words i want uh, it to understand so for example i'm saying whenever you encounter the word the and over remove that from remove that in the index time so for example if i said something like so if so if i said hello my oops the tree is great so for example if this was my text this would be interpreted as hello at index time okay hello tree and is great so these are the words for so the the word the would be skipped okay so you would also save like memory so it all depends like what is your application and then accordingly you would use your analyzer so i did that for example i said the and st stuff so let me actually run this okay so that that was created now let me show you the difference okay the same word the two quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dogs if i run that uh if i run that here now check this out the word the, the should be skipped at index time so if you see the word the is not there because in the stop word we define that it should be skipped so at index time if you try to search for that word it won't be there does that make sense how elastic search work for example in case of the index test in which i did not define my analyzer here you would see the word the for example let me show you check this out see you see how easy it is it's pretty pretty easy once you start understanding stuff i mean you would really love lo love love learning stuff so for example uh, as i said so my test now i'm st i'm going to look for the query word the in that now i define my analyzer in which i said explicitly the the word should be not considered at index time so if i search no document found so you see how it's working now so so here we specified right so for example you said like oh skip this word so you can specify your analyzer so that's the job of analyzer okay in layman language that's how i would explain it now oh yeah there are couple of more analyzer for example we have a uh, character filter you can say html strip so whenever you provide an html it's going to consider you know for example this would be interpreted interpreted as i always have to show you in the snippets otherwise it's hard to understand for beginner so it's broken down to this is a test so based on the analyzer you provide for example the tokenizer is white space so it's going to break down into white space but if you say tokenizer at keyword this is the entire one word at index time you won't break it i will prove it to you let me show you so say check this out this is a test okay same thing if i change that into keyword check this out makes sense right how analyzer works so hope this is clear basically it's it's used um, analyzers are quite used when you want to um you know when you want to improve the efficiency like you you want certain words to be skipped at index time for example the uh, you want to convert that into lower case you know all that all that stuff so that's when the analyzer will come into place now if I, at the end i would conclude it i have a nice conclusion here so whatever i explained to you i've written it in a plain english so let's read that quickly what happens when you don't provide an analyzer the default analyzer will be standard in simple what elasticsearch does it converts those string or data into tokens for fast indexing for example the the word two quick brown fox jumped over the lazy pony on the field would be interpreted as this this is this is what it will be interpreted as but if you provide a custom analyzer and if you want to skip the word the or stop words you can provide that at an index time that's what it does right so i explained you all of that so for example when you index the string the two quick brown fox whatever the same string this is what will be done instead if you don't say analyzer what would happen is it would consider the stop words as well like the word the i i showed you an example right so i uh, so these are like the you know the kibana um, whatever like commands i was running on kibana to guy to you know explain you and these are the references that i have taken so hope this will clear a lot, lot of people's um, doubts uh, on analyzer how you how to use an analyzer and stuff like that at last i just want to revise one more time how to write your own custom analyzer i know it's a little bit uh, 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 can be can be a little tedious for beginners so you know how to write mappings right so you can provide analyzers so if i don't want to specify my custom analyzer i can simply say your stop so this means that you are saying elastic search to use the built in stop analyzer if you don't want to do that you can specify your custom analyzer 
and then you can define your analyzer. So whenever you want to define analyzer, it is inside analysis. And then you have an analyzer, which is again a JSON, right? And which takes the name of the analyzer and it takes all the attributes here. For example, filter, tokenizer, type. Type should be always custom because it's a custom. And then whatever filter you define, your user defined filter, you would basically define that below the analyzer right here. I would highly you know, encourage you guys to use Kibana because for beginners, it's pretty good. It helps you to write queries, so it gives you like automatically snippets and all that. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial on um, uh, Elasticsearch Analyzer. I tried my best to explain this in an, a in an as easy as possible because uh, a lot of people are complicating these things, right? So I just wanted to make it very, very simple for beginners or people who are learning this for the first time. Hope you have enjoyed it. And if you really did like my contents, a simple way would be liking the video. That would be really appreciated. And if you have the means, you can also share my video. As usual, uh, keep smiling, keep coding. If you have any more questions, list your questions in the comments and I would be very happy to assist you. Once again, thank you for love. See you guys next time.